Uh, but he says, extend JD, not perfect, but we have a Super Bowl team. Yeah, look, JD and Salah are both in the final years of their contract. I would imagine, uh, you know, maybe inside the building they're thinking, okay, you know, Joe Douglas has, has a, you know, shopped for the groceries. We got some good ingredients to make this magical dish that we're hoping is going to be in a bowl, Super Bowl. Um, but JD, could he get extended first? Do we think we wait until we start seeing some winning and then they both get the contract extension uh, Matt, I'll throw this one to you first. What do you think about the contracts of Joe Douglas and Robert Sala both going into the final years of their deal? Yeah, it's rare to see a lame duck head coach or GM, which is someone going into the final year of their deal. Usually they like a little bit more security than that. I am happy with what Joe Douglas has done to put this team in a good spot, but I don't think it's unfair to say I'd like to see some some wins first before we make any decisions on extending either one of these guys. I know Joe Douglas is going to be in a little bit more popularity with the fan base for the offseason that he's had, uh, and, and probably deservingly so. I thought he the Jets had a very good offseason, but uh, I, I think I would like to see some wins uh, and some on-field success before I'm rewarding uh, these guys with a new contract. Green Bean, what about you? Salad, Douglas, both going into the final year of their deal. You think one could get a contract before the other? Do you think we have to see success either way? What's the uh, what's the deal with them? Um, I would like to see Joe Douglas secured. You know, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, there is the whole thing with their contracts being tied together and all that stuff. But I believe that Joe, I mean, look at the roster, man. Um, the roster is, there's, I mean, it's stacked, you know, so Joe Douglas has done his job. I would like to see Joe Douglas given a, a you know, an, an extension. I do think that it's realistic to ponder the idea that he gets it first, uh, before, uh, Sala. I think Sala is more tied to the results. Like if, if, if with this roster with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, if we don't make the playoffs, Robert Sala's done. I mean, I I don't know. It depends on the Aaron Rodgers piece, but I think he's more on the hot seat than than Joe Douglas. So I could see JD getting the uh, the extension first and kind mm -hmm. of moving in that direction. Like, hey, dude, we're results oriented. You uh, you do your job, you get extended. Uh, and then wait to see what Robert Sala does. What's up, guys? Matt O'Leary from Talking Jets. If you liked that video, please make sure to subscribe and follow for more New York Jets content.